हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस सी सम एग्जांपल्स एग्जांपल वन सपोज शो दैट एन रेस टू सिक्स माइनस वन इज डिविजिबल बाय सेवन इफ एन एंड सेवन आर रिलेटिवली प्राइम सो सॉल्यूशन फॉर दिस Given that, given that n and seven are relatively prime, therefore by Euler's theorem, therefore by Euler's theorem, n raise to phi of seven congruence to one modulo seven. But what is phi of seven? Seven is a prime number, so phi of seven is what six. So congruence to one modulo seven. Hence phi of seven is what six. Okay, fine. What by definition of congruence? What does this? This implies seven divides n raised to six minus one. That is same as to say. n raised to six minus one is divisible by seven. Divisible by what? Seven. This is the solution of this problem. A very easy problem on Fermat theorem. Uh, <coughs> that is same as to say on Euler's theorem. Fine. Now the next example show that n raised to seven. Minus n is divisible by forty-two. For any integer, for any integer n. Okay. Now the solution. Now forty-two is not a prime number. Here we know it is not a prime. So use the To use Fermat theorem or Euler's theorem, we will reduce or we will factorize it. So we can get such a factors which are relatively prime to each other. So I can write forty two as seven multiply by six. As we know, seven and six are what relatively prime to each other. Fine. Such a factors we want, they are relatively prime to each other. Remember this thing. So we have to show forty two divides n raised to seven n raised to seven minus n. That is enough to show that seven divides n raised to seven minus n and six also divides n raised to seven minus n. What is our claim? Claim forty two divides n raised to seven minus n. That is that is. to show that is to show that 7 divides n raised to 7 minus n and 6 divides n raised to 7 minus n again now here 7 is a prime number so we can easily apply fermat theorem for that but 6 is not a prime so for 6 again we will find two factors of it So, so that they are relatively prime with each other. So again, we use the same thing. Now, let me write for this one first. So since since seven is a prime, so by seven is a prime. So or seven is prime. Therefore, by Fermat theorem. By Fermat's theorem, what we get? N raised to seven congruence to n modulo seven. A second part of Fermat theorem shows the same. Fine. Now, what does this says? This says seven divides n raised to seven minus n. Call it as equation number. One. This is the first part of our proof. Fine. 
now let us go for this part now 6 is not prime so 6 will be written as 2 multiplied by 3 and we know 2 and 3 are what relatively prime so so therefore to show therefore to show 6 divides n raised to 7 minus n it is enough to show enough to show that it is enough to show that 2 divides n raised to 7 minus n and 3 divides n raised to 7 minus n. Here, here, what is n raised to 7 minus n? It can be written as n into n raised to 6 minus 1. Fine. Now, this is same as to say n into, this is n raised to 6 minus 1. So, it can be written as, as such. Look at here. n cube square minus 1 square. This one, n raised to 6 can be written as such. n raised to 3 raised to 2. n cube square minus 1 square. So, this is equivalent to what? n as it is. This is a square minus b square. So, a minus b into a plus b fine again this can be written as n into this is a cube minus b cube this can be considered as a cube minus b cube so its factor are a minus b a square plus a b plus b square again this is a cube plus b cube so that can be written as what n plus 1 into what a square minus a b plus 1 as such fine now here why does i have did this look at here 2 divides n raised to 7 minus n that thing we have to show by format theorem we can get 2 is a prime number so, by format theorem, we will get n square congruence to what? n modulo 2. This thing we will get by format theorem. That is, 2 divides n square minus n. Now, this n square minus n, we can get from here. Look at it. So, n, 2 divides n square minus n. We know, if a divides b, then a divides bx for any x here fine so we will use this property of divisibility here and once we show by uh, once we factorize this one to show the prime number will divide some of the fact some part of a factor of it then we can easily take this part as a x here so from this i will get 2 divides this n square minus n and i will take this whole one here that is n cube this one n square plus n plus 1 into n plus 1 into what n square minus n plus 1 this part will pl plays a role of whom x here so from this now this whole product is what this whole product is equivalent to n raised to 7 minus n so we can write 2 divides n raised to 7 minus n here fine so now the same thing I will apply for 3 also. For 3, what we get? n cube minus n cube congruence to what? n modulo 3. Modulo 3. So, n cube minus, uh, that is 3 divides what? n cube minus n. That is same as to say 3 divides what? n into n square minus 1. n will take in common. So, n square minus 1. Look at here. This is n. It is covered here. Fine. Now n square minus 1 means n plus 1, n minus 1. So look at here n minus 1 here, n plus 1 is there. So remaining 1 we will take here as a product and the whole product is equivalent to what? n raised to 7 minus n. The remaining is nothing but what? x here again. Fine. So now let me write the further part. 
we need to factorize this thing as our required as such we required it either in n square n cube as such now simply i will write that part as 2 and 3 are primes are primes therefore by fermat's theorem therefore by fermat's theorem n square congruence to n modulo 2 and n cube congruence to n modulo 3 as i say earlier to you this is same as to say 2 divides n square minus n and 3 divides what n cube minus n therefore this gives 2 divides this is what n square fine 2 divides what n square minus n into this one take this whole one as a product here so it is n square plus n plus 1 and this part is nothing but this one n cube plus 1 so i can write here n cube plus 1 also and 3 divides what n cube minus n and what is left n cube minus n will be these things this one this one fine so the remaining are these two brackets so let me write them here this is n square plus n plus 1 into n square minus n plus 1 fine so this is same as to say 2 divides n raised to 7 minus n and 3 divides n raised to 7 minus n so therefore 6 divides n raised to 7 minus n call it as equation number 2 so 7 divides n raised to 7 minus n 6 divides n raised to 7 minus n that is same as to say 42 divides n raised to 7 minus n this gives 42 divides n raised to 7 minus n from 1 and what 2 from 1 and 2 we will get this 42 divides n raised to 7 minus n fine now let me go for next example next example is that n raised to 12 minus 1 is divisible by divisible by what 7 if n and 7 are relatively prime solution as n and 7 are relatively prime therefore by Fermat theorem therefore by Fermat's theorem what we get n raised to phi of 7 congruence to 1 modulo 7 now this is equivalent to n raised to 6 congruence to 1 modulo 7 as phi of 7 is equal to what 6 fine now n raised to 12 minus 1 is same as to say n raised to 6 its square minus 1 square so this is n raised to 6 minus 1 into n raised to 6 plus 1 so now what this one this let me call it as equation number 1 so this equation 1 gives us 7 divides n raised to 6 minus 1 fine so here it will it gives n raised to 6 minus 1 it is already a factor of n raised to 12 minus 1 so let me take this as a x here so this gives 7 divides what n raised to 6 minus 1 
into n raised to 6 plus 1 also. And that is same as 7 divides n raised to 12 minus 1. Therefore, n raised to 12 minus 1 is divisible by what? 7. Is divisible by whom? 7. Fine. Now, again the next example. Show that, show that n raised to 13 minus n is divisible by, is divisible by 2, 3, 5, 7 and 13 for any integer n, for any integer n. So, solution here let me factorize this part first. So, n raised to 13 minus n. So, will be what? n into n raised to 12 minus 1. Now, just we have seen in previous example n raised to 12 minus 1 can be written as n raised to 6 minus 1 into n raised to 6 plus 1. Now, before that, we have seen n raised to 6 minus 1 can be written as, it will be what? n. n into, I can write it as, n cube minus 1 into n cube plus 1 into n raised to 6 plus 1 as it is. Fine? This is same as to say, look at here, this n cube minus 1, n cube plus 1, again we can simplify. So, n into n minus 1 into what? n square plus n plus 1 and this is n plus 1, n square minus n plus 1 and this n raised to 6 plus 1 as it is. Fine. Now, let us do 1 by 1 for this each prime. Now, P is equal to 2, P is equal to 2 is a prime, therefore by Fermat theorem, Fermat's theorem, what we get? N square congruence to what? N modulo 2, okay, that gives 2 divides n square minus n. So, n square minus 1 will be here. Look at here. n square minus 1. So, this whole one will be taken as x. So, I can say 2 divides n square minus n into what? This. n square plus n plus 1 and this remaining part. This remaining part is nothing but this one. Look at. This is a factorization of n cube plus 1 and this one as it is. Fine. This is n square plus n plus 1 into n cube plus 1 into n raised to 6 plus 1. Fine. So, this whole one is equivalent to this one. So, 2 divides from n raised to 13 minus n. So, we have been proved this. Fine. This is the first part of this question suppose. Now, again. Now, P is equal to 3 is again a prime. Is what? Again a prime. Therefore, by Fermat theorem. Again by Fermat's theorem. Again by Fermat's theorem. What we get? We get n cube congruence to n modulo 3. Modulo 3. So, this gives... 3 divides n cube minus n. So, n cube minus n will be this part multiplied by this one. It will be what? n cube minus n. Look at. These two will give n square minus 1 into n will be n cube minus n. Fine. So, I can write 3 divides. These one I have to write simply. 3 divides n cube 
माइनस एन इन टू वर्ड एन स्क्वायर प्लस एन प्लस वन इन टू एन स्क्वायर माइनस एन प्लस वन इन टू एन रेस टू सिक्स प्लस वन सो दैट इज इक्वल एन टू वर्ड थ्री डिवाइड एन रेस टू थर्टीन माइनस एन एन रेस टू थर्टीन माइनस एन नाउ अगेन p इज इक्वल टू फाइव इज प्राइम देर फोर बाय फॉर्मैट थेरम देर फोर बाय फॉर्मैट थेरम वट वी गेट एन रेस टू फाइव कॉन्ग्रोन्स टू एन मॉड्यूलो फाइव एन रेस टू फाइव कॉन्ग्रोन्स टू एन मॉड्यूलो फाइव फाइन सो फ्रॉम दिस now for this how does we get look at here this this part n n raised to 6 minus 1 n raised to 6 plus 1 now here let me use a result of a cube minus b cube and a cube plus b cube so this look at carefully n raised to 6 minus 1 can be written as this n square cube minus 1 cube so it will be what n square minus 1 into n square sorry n raise to 4 n raise to 4 plus n square plus 1 and what about n raise to 6 plus 1 that one can be written as n square plus 1 into n raise to 4 minus n square plus 1 as such we can write the factors of them so let me write that Form also here. This is equivalent to n into what? N into this one. N square minus one into n raise to four plus n plus plus n square plus one and n square plus one into n raise to four minus n square plus one. Fine. Now look at here for. n raised to five u minus n this one look at it carefully this is n square minus one n square plus one so that is n raised to four minus one into n so n raised to five u minus n is that fine so what we get this gives five u divides n raised to five u minus n that is equivalent to say Five u divides n raised to five u minus n into this. These two brackets are left. So n raised to four plus n square plus one into n raised to four minus n square plus one. Fine. So this gives five u divides n raised to thirteen minus n. Now again, p is equal to seven is a prime. P is equal to seven is a prime. Therefore, again by format theorem, formats theorem, but we get n raised to seven congruence to n modulo seven. So this gives seven divides n raised to seven minus n. Look at here. This is n cube minus one, n cube plus one. That is n raised to six minus one. This one, n raised to six minus one into n is what? N raised to seven minus n. So I can easily write here. This implies seven divides n raised to seven minus n into n raised to six plus one. So that is seven divides n raised to thirteen minus n. Again, p is equal to what? Thirteen is prime. Therefore, by Fermat's theorem, Fermat's theorem, n raised to thirteen congruent to n modulo whom thirteen. So this gives thirteen divides n raised to thirteen modulo minus what n. So now, as such, simply do the factorization of the given. 
polynomial in n fine and we can use the format theorem we can easily show look at here we have been shown 2 divides n raised to 13 minus n fine 3 divides n raised to 13 minus n 5 divides n raised to 13 minus n 7 also divides n raised to 13 minus n and 13 also divides n raised to 13 minus n so hence n raised to 13 minus n is divisible by 2, 3, 5, 7 as well as 13 for any integer n. Hence, hence n raised to 13 minus n is divisible by divisible by 2, 3, 5, 7 and 13 for all n for all n as such we can write the final answer here fine now the next example next example show that n raised to 12 minus a raised to 12 is divisible by 13 if n and a are prime to prime to what 13 solution given that given that n and a are prime to 13 n and a are prime to 13 that is n and 13 their gcd is 1 and the gcd of a and 13 is also what 1 therefore by Euler's theorem therefore by Euler's theorem if we apply it on n and 13 are relatively prime look at here n and 13 are relatively prime so that gives n raised to phi of 13 congruence to what 1 modulo 13 fine that is same as n raised to 12 congruence to 1 modulo 13 as phi of 13 is what 12 okay again and a and 13 are also what relatively prime so a raised to phi of 13 congruence to 1 modulo 13 so that gives a raised to 12 congruence to 1 modulo 13 as again phi of 13 is what 12 same reason for both of them fine so here we have two congruences as n raised to 12 congruence to 1 modulo 13 and a raised to 12 congruence to 1 modulo 13 so this gives n raised to 12 minus a raised to 12 congruence to whom 0 modulo 13 this is one of the property of congruences a congruence to b modulo c modulo m suppose and c congruence to d modulo m then a minus c congruence to b minus d modulo m the same one i have used here so this gives 13 divides n raised to 12 minus a raised to 12 so as such we can write this fine this is the answer here now here we will stop we will see some more types of example in next video thank you